Howdy, Possum Patty here, and it was a beautiful weekend. And there were yard sales on Saturday and flea market on Sunday. And I'd like to show you what I found, so come on along. Okay, I'm going to do the yard sale first. And I think I paid probably about a dollar a piece for these things. And this is a Fisker's ampersand punch. Do I really need this? No, I don't. But I thought it was kind of cool. Great big punch, and it was only a dollar. So I figured, well, I can punch out a bunch of these and use them to decorate some pages. Somebody got it on clearance for two ninety seven, which was a really good price. But I figured for a buck, why not? A lot of entertainment for one dollar. And then there were these two cuddle bugs, and they're the same thing. And the original price on these were, I have no idea, but they were on clearance for four ninety seven dollars each. And I paid a dollar a piece for them. So I figured I'd keep one, and one would be a great to give away prize. Feather Illusion, this is called, and I love feathers. So I'm going to print this and see how it comes out. Oh, there's two. Two bossing. Sort of like a border and then like a plate that's 5 by 7 And these will fit in my big shot, no problem. And one of these I'm going to give away. And these are from Joann Fabrics, and the original price is $4.99. Somebody got them on clearance for $2.97. And I paid a dollar a piece. Kind of nice little metal signs, letters of the alphabet. But I think you could probably put a different image on those. Kind of cool for maybe like a steampunk page or something. And I bought two of those. And this is a very unusual set of Greek vocabulary cards. Originally two fifty, Probably pretty vintage. The cards are all yellowed, which is nice. Nice, nice, nice. And Greek writing. So this is going to add some interesting elements to a journal page. Some nice texture and color with these cards are gorgeous. And there's a lot of them in here. I don't know how many, but a lot, a lot of cards in here. Let's see if it says. Wow, a thousand cards printed on both sides. Wow, well, a thousand is a lot. A thousand is a lot. Probably have to give some of those away too. And also from Saturday yard sales at a different vendor, a different yard. I know I just picked this up for cheap price. I kind of like this color red, and I thought this material would go good on a boho page or for anything. Looks like an old wine bottle, organza bag. But I thought this was really pretty. You know, you can cut this and make a pocket in your journal out of that. I thought that was pretty. And then I got this box of cards. I didn't count to see how many were in here. I'm sure some are missing. But gorgeous roses. And this is Chinese. Just, just pretty images. Just really nice. Van Gogh. All different artists. Gorgeous roses. A lot of them in here. So I can use these in, in my journal. Or give some away. And I think, oh wait, one more thing, hold on. This was unbelievable. Somebody gave this woman like, I don't know, it was like 12 or 15 yards of this gorgeous material. And it's very heavy and I decided I would make some cushions for the bench on the deck. But I could probably cut out some of these images and put them in my journal too or make a journal cover. Love this bird. It's a white-breasted nuthatch, it looks like. 
which I have in my yard and I love them. But this is so funky. I love the design on here. Very retro, very colorful birds. And uh, there's some insects on here too. And look at the oak leaf. I just love the design on here. Look at the bug. Look at that. This is awesome. Well, anyway, I paid, I think it was $4 for like 15 yards of this. So I have plenty, plenty, plenty to make a seat cushion and cut up and do whatever I want with. I just love it. It's so colorful. This might be the cover of my next journal. Okay, I'm going to go get my flea market finds. The very first person I went to at the flea market had three giant, giant boxes of stamping up stamps. And she was selling them pretty cheaply. Look at this. Postcard. I wanted this postcard. And these are vintage images. Tag, suitcase, camera, stamp. And a little tag, a little key there. So I got the vintage set. And look at this. Look how look at the size of this. Look at my hand. It is a huge, my favorite sunflower. This is so gorgeous. And snail for snail mail and some butterflies. This is so pretty. Ladybugs. Here's a tulip. There's another ladybug. Some. Oh, I hit the camera. And the next set. I was looking at these at a yard sale, but they wanted too much. Like wildflowers, and they got little Emerson quotes on there. Mother Teresa. I really like that set. And. Lilacs, lilacs, and leaves for the lilacs, and just a stamp that says, my friend. That's kind of nice, huh? Oh, and one little stamp there says, hand stamped by, and some more wildflowers. I love these wildflowers. Beautiful. You know how expensive the stamping up stamps are. Some more wildflowers. I just love these little wildflowers. Friend to friend stamp. Can't read what that one says. Thanks so much. Hmm. Friend to friend. Here's my bird clock, and it is a red-breasted robin o'clock. I love this. And the last one, of course, some more flowers. And it's like a texture stamp. So you can do like one color in the background, maybe put that on top. So you know how expensive these things are. So I've got one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven sets, plus this great big giant sunflower, which is not even used. Look at that. It's not even on the block yet. Not used yet. So guess how much I paid. I paid quite a bit, though. I did pay $20, but you would pay probably more than that just for this sunflower. Brand new. Not even ever used brand new some of these have been used but they're all in really good shape some of them probably never used anyway twenty dollars twenty dollars for this all right i got one more bag well i already found a lot of buttons but i was looking for some tiny ones some tiny colorful ones and i found this little package one of the vendors at the flea market and I said, you take 25 cents? And they said, sure. I figured 25 cents for a bunch of buttons. Not bad. And I haven't gone through this whole pile, but the lady said, take an armful. It did cost me $10 though. But look at these things. 
like the elephants. Look at this. These are like reproductions of vintage. Isn't that gorgeous? I don't know what these are worth. I have no idea. Look at the little chick. Courier and Ives. Roses. Look at this. Victorian bookmark. This one's embossed from the Hallmark Historical Collection. These old postcards. 1910, Kansas City started the Hallmark. Look at this. These are just so gorgeous. I didn't even count how many there were. I just grabbed a handful. That's a duplicate. I know I bought some of the uh, whole bunch of real ones, but these are repros. I'll look at the dogs. Repro vintage, which is fine for the journal because they're just going to get stuck in their journal anyway. A bunch of more Easter cards. Pansies. This is going to go in my journal right away because I'm making a pansy page. Look at this. And look, an entire book here. I don't know if they're all in there. 40 full color ready to mail postcards. I wonder what the price on this was. $8.95. So this alone was $8.95. And it's all these gorgeous postcards. New Year's. Oh, look at this. New Year postcards. Lincoln's birthday. Nobody celebrates anymore. Valentine's Day. Lots of Valentine's. Washington's birthday. Nobody celebrates anymore. St. Patrick's Day. Gorgeous. Easter. More chicks for Easter. Those Easter cards are gorgeous. Fourth of July. Look at that, 4th of July, Halloween, oh, a lot of Halloween ones. I saw some of these online, Thanksgiving Day with a pumpkin, Thanksgiving. Oh, these are going to be really fun to put in the journal. Christmas, of course. a whole book of those and then a whole pile more of these vintage ones keep going possum patty keep going well, i guess two of those probably have two of those look at that ah oh, these hearts are gorgeous look at these hearts oh garden beautiful there's a big one too a blue santa i love this blue and white santa Happy birthday with the clowns. Gardening. Oh, that should go in right away. Oh, this is adorable. And oh, these are postcards. More hearts. Lots of hearts. Isn't this pretty? Gorgeous. Look at these faces. Doves. Ladies. Music. Kitties. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love Halloween pumpkins. Birthday. These are so special. Oh, look at this. A wedding. A little girl. And then some more postcards. Those chickies. St. Patrick's Day. Thanksgiving. Somebody really liked these antique postcards, but these are repros. Extras of those. I'll have to give those away. And several of these. And then, I know it's never ending, right? Paper dolls. 
Roaring Twenties. It says 1920. I don't know if that came from the 1920s. Okay, 1870s Victorian Lady. Romantic Error. France. Why somebody's collecting these fashions. French Rococo. Rococo. French Rococo. Ancient Greece. These look like they came out of a magazine. I don't know what year this is, though. Must be French. Oh, this one's newer, 1999. Paper doll. Golden Age of Hollywood. I wonder where this... Uh, oh, this is 1990. Patty Hearst is kidnapped. Remember February 4th, 1974. Hmm. Famous women paper dolls. Oh, Diana. Princess Diana. Pakistani Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher, Golda Meir, Amelia Earhart. Oh, these are precious. Paper dolls. Somebody was really into fashions and paper dolls. The lady I got it from said she just bought a box of this stuff at an estate sale. Magazines about paper dolls. Oh, here's one. Candy. Christmas toys. Camille. Oh, look at this. There's a boy. Another girl. Mother and daughter paper dolls, 1950s. Victorian ladies. Oh, there's so much here. Well, this goes on and on and on, right? Oh, oh here's a whole book. Paper doll review. I didn't even know it was a thing, right? Paper doll review. I'm sorry, I haven't looked at this stuff. I'm going through this for the first time with you. This was 2008. And some more. And Hollywood dollies. And this is Rudolph Valentino. Wow, not even opened. 1991, so 30 years. All right, I'm going to count up and see how much stuff I got here. Okay, I counted everything out, and there is one book bookmark. There are no postcards missing from this book, so there's 40 full-color ready-to-mail postcards in here, all vintage designs. There are 36 cards that are reproductions of Victorian designs, 36 of those. There are 26 postcards separately, all vintage designs. And there are 30, about 30 pages or 30 sets of these paper dolls plus this book. So if you think $10 was a good deal for this, Please note in the comments below and just say, I really think $10 was a good buy for those paper products and you just may win something. This might be secret giveaway number three. And I can't say for my 900 subbies anymore because now I've reached a thousand. 
So I'm going to do a secret giveaway for number three. I've already done two giveaways. This is number three. And if you would like to enter, and I'm just going to be sending you some goodies, maybe some of these vintage reproduction things or some things I got at the tag sales or the flea market today, or maybe I'll throw in a couple of extra goodies. Just mention below that you thought it was a great deal, $10 for these paper products. And you must be 18 years of age or over. You must live in the United States. You must be a subscriber to my channel. And you must comment below and tell me if you thought this was a good deal or not. And I will choose, what's today? Today is Sunday. Ooh, maybe Wednesday, maybe like around Wednesday, Thursday. I give everybody a couple of days to watch the video and comment below. And then I will make up a nice little package. It'll be surprise what you get because this is a secret giveaway. So thanks for coming along today while I shared all my goodies that I found at the yard sales on the flea market. And I just want to thank you again for being a subscriber and for commenting because I couldn't have gotten to a thousand without everybody's support. And I just want to wish everybody happy hunting. Bye-bye now.